Well, um, Scott, Kimberly. Fact is, we've um, hit a little bit of a snag. It's no big thing. Really big thing, that is. I mean, everything is still legally going forward. It's, it's a personal, more of a personal thing. <sighs> Basically, uh, it's this. Your Uncle Cecil feels very strongly that the charter plane will be costing too much and has decided to drive your father's body back in the station wagon himself from Canada. He's uh, stored him, your father, in a canoe on the roof, carefully wrapped, and has been advised by some Mountie up there, someone who knows what they're talking about, that um, game is transported this time of year with no problem in um, <clears throat> preservation. So, I don't know. Now I know what you may be, uh, what's, you know, what's running through, <clears throat> what you may be thinking. I mean, it's by no stretch of the imagination ideal. I mean, I know that. Your Uncle Cecil knows that. But he is, uh, well, you know how he is. He and your father built this company from a very modest, well, you know the story. And uh, it's these principles of frugality and practicality that I admire in them so much. And in you, in Pauline. <sighs> Determination. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible, really. Cecil's determination is incredible. Really. I mean, I wish you could hear him on the subject. The immediate subject at hand, which we are discussing here. So, what do you think? Now, before you say anything, um, a few things you should keep in mind. I mean, it's not a long trip, and he's going to be driving straight through, so basic timetable is going to be about the same. And um, the other thing... <laughs> well, this is really the thing. Um, your Uncle Cecil is on the road, you see, already. 